Alright, today we will discuss about the permutation for round table. This is a very confusing topic. But today I just try my best to make you understand it. Even though I myself also find a bit com confused uh, when I learn it myself. Alright, so example. So let's say we have three identical round table. Basically mean these three tables have the same circumference, same midpoint and same radius. So basically they are the same table. Alright, so I'm going to place two, three person into one table. And then here I show you like uh, how I can place them. Because when, let's say we have, we can place three of them like this, uh, position one, position two, position three. Let's say um, this is a center point. Let's say this is a center point. And I just want to show you the distance uh, for press position 1, position 2, and position 3 are the same, 120 degree each. Example, all right? 120 degree each. Basically mean right now they will have the uh, same art length here. So basically I place three person, which is the person A, person B, and person C. Okay, so right now we have three position. I want to place about three person, which is A, B, and C. Okay, into three, uh, three position. And then I ask you the number of ways you can arrange them. Because most of you will answer, oh, it should be three factorial, isn't it? Because yeah, we have three places, we want to place three person, and then the way of arranging them, each of them are the different person, right? So it's three factorial. Okay, this case is only valid if you have three of them sitting in the same row, like A, B, C, then this is correct. But in the round table, it is wrong. Why? Okay, because I can show you why. Let's say I draw exactly the same three spot. Uh, spot one, two, and three. One, two, and three. Okay, let's say right now I place like A, B, and C. So you imagine you are the person A. You are the person A. If you look at your left hand side, here is, is your left hand side. Huh? You look at the left hand side, you basically you see the person B. And then you look at your right hand side, you're actually seeing the person C. This is your right hand side. So if I do something like A, B, C. So if you are sitting at this position, even though this is position 2, but because this table is perfectly round, so if you look at your right hand side, you are actually looking at person C. If you look at your left hand side, you are actually looking at person B. And then if you sit at this position, A, B, C. You sit over here, you're trying to look at your right hand side. You will see the person C. You look at your left hand side, you will see the person B. So because three of these table are exactly the same so therefore this one it seems like because normally we, we arrange we will some say something oh this is a b c then this is c a b and then this is b c a but then in this case they are identical because you sit here the your view here is exactly the same because when you're sitting here you doesn't you cannot see yourself right you can only see the person c and person b so you sit here you can only see the person B and person C. So for you, you can't find any different because yeah, there's no way you tell the different. You don't tell me, ah, so I will take out the compass and then I know where it's north and blah, blah, blah. No, in this case, we will just assume they are the same. Okay, when they are the same, what happened is like this. Because in permutation, when they are the same, right, we need to divide the number of uh, the pot the same way. So th this three we can combine become one, isn't it? So what I want to do is in round table cases, if I want to uh, place three person into the three seat here, it's called three factorial divided by three. Why divided by three? Because yeah, these three of them are the same. So we kind of need to divide the uh, same methods here. Okay, so if I three factorial divided by 3, I actually get something like 6 over 3, which is 2. And then you might ask, so is it possible like only have two way of arranging them? Let's see. All right, let's say 
I place the person A here and B will be here, C will be here. So the only way I want to make myself see the different view, what I will do is I will place the C here and B here. Because for the, for the first example here, yeah, you can see my left hand side is basically, my left hand side is basically person B and my right hand side is person C. But for this one, my left hand side is person C, my right hand side, which is the person B. So basically for me, I actually seeing the different view. So therefore, there's only two way I can arrange this. Yeah, some student might argue, so I definitely think it's more than two way. Yeah, you can try it out yourself. Let's say I randomly write something like, okay, A, C, B. I just randomly write. So for me, if I'm the person A, I look at the B here. B is actually at my right hand side. C will be at my left hand side. Then this one is exactly same with the second diagram. You can see A here, right hand side is B, left hand side is C. So if I just randomly change again, I say, okay, I prefer A, B, C, something like this. Then if you try this one, you will realize your right hand side is C, your left hand side is B. Then it's exactly the same with the first diagram. So therefore, there's only two way you can arrange this. Um, I believe if you Google online or you just watch some YouTube video, they tell you the formula for round table is basically is n minus one factorial. But why? So basically it's like this, because like I say, this one, if we want to arrange three people on the round table, which only have three seats, we use three factorial divided by three. So if today you ask me, sir, what if you have four people and four seats? So it's four factorial divided by four. Because let's say we have some A, B, C, D, and then we might get something like A, B, C, D. And then we might get something like A, B, C, D. And then we might get something like A, B, C, D. And all of them are the same. So you need to divide four here. So you have, if I have five person and five place, I want to arrange them. So it's five factorial over five. So if you see the pattern, you should know that the formula is called n factorial divided by n. If we solve this one, n factorial is what? n multiply n minus one factorial. So over n, then n and n I simplify, I get n minus one factorial. So this is how you do discount questions, which is you can always use n minus one factorial. That's mean if today I want to arrange three people, I will just say, oh, three minus one factorial, which is two factorial, which is two ways only to arrange three people in a round table. Okay, definitely there's another way. I think it's quite easy to understand as well. Let's say we have three places like just now. So let's say I will always place uh, the person, uh, place one person at one place here first. And then for me, right now I only left about two empty spaces. So therefore, I will just assume is two factorial. So let's say this round table, I want to have four people. So I will place the first person first. Then I want to see how many empty space I have. Then I have three empty space which is three factorial. Because for me, I'm sitting here, I can only change these three bases uh, randomly. So therefore, it's just three factorial. Okay, depend you want to follow the formula or not, which is fine. But over here, I want to go into something slightly deeper because right now what we're arranging is, oh, we have five person, then we want to place them into the five seat. But what if, we have seven people, we want to place them into the five seat. Then you cannot use the formula just now, n minus one factorial. This one doesn't work because right now you only have five seat. So your n is five or seven. So therefore we need to use the NPR. If we have the seven people, we want to 
place them into the five different seed. All right, this is how we do. So kind of same logic because how you get this formula is n factorial over n, right? So n factorial basically means how many people you have. So over here, we will, will modify a little bit from here. So in order to get n factorial, but you have seven people, you only choose five to place on the round table, which is we call 7p5. All right, and then we need to divide because you know when you arrange them, there's a five way you actually, you will get the same view in it. So we will divide it by five. So therefore, the formula is MPR divided by R. So yeah, this is the formula you will use when you have the round table questions, which is you have more people but less seed. That means you kind of need to choose like how many people into certain seat only, but you are not placing all of them uh, into the table. Okay, so we will use this formula, which is MPR over R. Okay, this formula can get even slightly more complicated. There's one condition, even though uh, that condition I seldom see, almost never see, which is because it's a round table, right? That means if you are placed as a pers uh, position A. So maybe in some scenario, when you look at the clockwise or anti-clockwise, you and both of them for clockwise and anti-clockwise, anti-clockwise, they are the same view. Let's say you have the same view, then you kind of need to use MPR divided by 2R. Because why need to divide a two here? Because you, you only take half of it to calculate only. Because if, if and only if, um, yeah, your clockwise views and your anti-clockwise views are the same, then you will need to use this formula. But so far until now, I haven't seen any example can use uh, this formula. So I will strongly encourage students to understand about n minus one factorial. If you have five people, you want to place five people. If you have more than five people, you only want to place five people, then you will use the second formula. If somehow you see some example need to use this formula, maybe you can share the question with me so we can actually uh, check it out together. Anyways, I hope you can understand what I'm trying to say here because uh, this uh, video is actually quite hard to make. I, I kind of do a little bit research before I decided to make this video because I think it's quite impossible for students to understand this. But yeah, I just do my best. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this video. Help me to like and share this video. Anyways, I hope you like this video. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.